Today we're going to be talking about the advancements in cellular technology from 1980s to 2010. Our thesis statement is, over the last 30 years, the advancements of cellular technology drove the demand for smaller, more portable, and better quality phones. First, we're going to be talking about the first generation phones in the 1980s. The first generation phone was the earliest cellular system. You could only make voice calls on the phone. It was transmitted over only 25 megahertz. The first phone was made in 1978. The cost of the phone you're about to see in the commercial was $595 in 1980 money. Comparison today is $2,124.15. Two more great reasons to come to Highland Superstores by Saturday. One, this Nokia Mobera portable cellular phone is just $595. Two, you can impress your friends by telling them it costs a lot more. Next, we'll be talking about the second generation phones from the 1990s. Now to talk about the second generation phones. They were the quickest network systems yet to develop, and they introduced the text message, which was first sent in 1991. The second generation phones were also more portable, introducing the bag phone, the car phone, and the portable phone. They ranged from 900 MHz to 1900 MHz, and now this is a commercial for a popular second generation phone in the 1990s. Finding a phone in a car isn't that unusual anymore, except when it leaves the car for greener pastures, the high seas, or a leisurely lunch. Radio Shack keeps you in constant communication with their affordable, transportable cellular telephone. Hello? Oh, well, yes, he's right here. It's for you. Yes, I heard about the merger. Buy 100 shares. The affordable, transportable cellular telephone. Only at Radio Shack. Next, we'll be talking about the third generation phones of the 2000s. The third generation phones introduced broadband internet, which means that now you can go on the internet on your cell phone. They also introduced high tech video calls launched in May of 2001. Not only that, but these phones were more efficient and faster, and now transmitted over 2,000 megahertz. Next, you'll be seeing one of the first iPhone commercials ever aired on TV. So, say you're watching Pirates of the Caribbean. Hmm, did somebody say calamari? The closest would be... Ah. Here's some more information on the iPhone. The commercial use watch debuted in 2007, advertising the very first iPhone. The big difference between the first generation phone and third generation phone is that in the first generation, you can barely talk on the cell phone, where in the third generation phone, you always have the internet at your fingertips. We will now be talking about the influence of cell phones. The competition between different companies made so they had to make better phones in order for people to buy their phones. The businesses were able to travel farther with the advancements of cell phones so they were able to still stay in touch with their other co-workers. The demand and other opinions of people were taken into um, like, consideration so they, the people would buy what they wanted and the advertising told how great the phones were. In conclusion, over the last 30 years, cell phones have changed the way we live today. The influences have driven the demand for smaller, more portable, and better quality phones.